have to say, relations between you and Simon were not very good when you split. There was a lot of stuff on social media. So yeah. I think a lot of people are surprised to see you come out and defend him so vehemently. Why, why have, do you feel that you want to do that? And the perception that me and Simon had this massive falling out for a very long time isn't factually correct. We actually get on really well. There was that moment of madness in both parts and we both apologised and Simon actually went on this morning and was like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done this with Karen, blah, blah, blah. We actually got on really well. And as far as I'm concerned, he, you know, he's the father of my children and we've got two boys together. Do I want to, you know, have this relationship where we have to hate each other forever? No, we get on really well. We actually get on better now than we did when we were married, which is quite ironic. Mm -hmm. And Karen, how do you feel about what has come out? I mean, Simon's admitted that he's been sexting this 17-year-old. Uh, I mean, this morning we had a rape allegation we have to say we, we won't discuss that because clearly it's been investigated and and you don't know anything yeah, uh, no, about that so we can put that to one yeah. side he said he has a drink problem how do you feel about this is the dad of your children as you say yeah I think with with the whole situation I don't condone it and I was the first honest to God that actually gave him a big rollick and I said Simon what in God's name were you thinking <laughs> he knows how I felt about it I am not being his apologist and he isn't he accepts he's done wrong what I am being is a supportive ex-wife and saying okay he's made a mistake he is human you know but do I want to be like everyone else around him and turn against him or do I want to support him I want to support him how can I look at my boys in the eyes and say you know, Dad is in a lot of trouble, but I'm not going to help him. How it's bad is his nice. drink problem? How bad it is it? It isn't that bad. To be honest with you, it isn't that bad. But it's not that bad, but he could still test a 17-year-old. <laughs> Which is shocking. You're absolutely right, and he, he shouldn't have done that. And when he got suspended, prior to him getting suspended from the Labour Party, I said to him, Simon, you need to take a step back. So I'm glad he got suspended. He's now glad that he can take that step back and reevaluate his life. Do you think life. he should resign? A lot of people no. are calling for his resignation. Yeah, though. I don't think he should because I think he's made a mistake. We all make mistakes. And I'm so behind him. I won't let him fail. I've told him, listen, this is what we're going to do. He's, you know, the dr I'm going to literally just take complete control over his life. I have what to. What do you think his why chances are? Why do you, are? Why why do you, you want control to control See, for life? me, I think, <laughs> after everything you've been through with, him and you're now divorced and I know yeah. you've got kids with him but all this has come about for somebody who got over that whole romantic situation I think oh, I'm not involved anymore yeah, go I'm with not. it I, are you still a little bit in love with him oh do you know what I will always have feelings with him because he is the father of our boys he, he, and I can't just leave I was there before he was an MP there was an idea we only got together when he was an MP but we was together before he was an MP I was there when he was working you know 20 hours in some days just so he could be you know become elected he needs help and I'm going to help him what, what do you want to do what do I want to do right now so um, obviously I you could right yeah, but you could have stayed quiet but obviously oh, sorry, you've come on here no like career wise you've come on here you're happy to speak about it yeah. could we see you on something like big brother or what kind of career no, do you want no, to no, pursue? No, no, no. I, I, but do you yeah, see what no. I mean? It was, could have yeah. been easy for you to stand in the background. Oh, um, yeah. But I've seen your selfies looking all, you know, and stuff like that. So is it fame you want? Do you oh, want to be no. a glamour girl? Do you want to do reality shows? What is no, it yeah. Do? No, I'm not sure. Yeah, I do want, want to, to write. Famous? I enjoy writing. No, I'm not for... What I want to do in this whole instant right now, I want to be able to look my two boys in the eye and say, when your dad needed help, I was there for him. But that are is you the important helping, thing Karen? That... I mean, oh, I I I'm not being judgmental. Morally, but you know the way the media works. Yeah. The more you're on telly, you've been doing lots of interviews, etc. If you keep fanning the flame, of the story, then it's going to get bigger and bigger. If you wanted to help Simon, I would say perhaps the thing would have been to stay stum. No, because then it, it looks like he's got no support there and he has got mm. support Do you think there. he needs professional help? Um, yeah, and, I'm, and that's what I'm going to push for him. So me, sorry, it's Colin, just to answer your question, me um, wanted to kind of take control over him. It's just more because at the moment he just needs that guidance. And this man works so hard. He made a mistake. You know, he's not committed any crime. He's so sorry about it. And he wants to prove people that he can change. And he will change. I, I just know he will, because I, I, for a start, I won't let him fail. But he knows he will Do you he think he'll change. change in terms of saying that he's got a thing for younger women? Do you think that will change? Um, no, I think he'll always have a thing for younger women, to be honest with you. That's, that's, and, you know, Do you think people... a campaigner for child abuse should be saying, I've got a thing for younger women? Well, there's a massive difference between liking slightly yeah, younger just, women you know, and children, yeah, with yeah, all due still, respect. <laughs> does it, I mean, does it feel like a wise thing to say? Well, why not? You know, I might say I prefer a, a, a brunette 
to go out with. It doesn't mean that I'm, you know, anti-blondes, do you know what I mean? It's not, you can't say just because I'm even 16 years younger than him that he can't say that he likes younger women. I like older men. What, what am I, you know? Mm. Am I someone trying to cough off with an OAP? No, you, it's not fair to even have that link there. It's not fair at all. It's... Well, he knows about this world, doesn't he? And we're talking about this young girl who's 17 years of mm -hmm. age that he's been uh, sexing and uh, uh, allegedly a dominatrix. We don't know that. Yeah. You know, you don't pop up at 17 being so sexually precocious. You know that there has been a process before. Two years ago, she was 15. You know, he of all people should know the way these things work and, and the sort of time it takes for, for young girls to get into sexual maturity and some of the kind of respect and restraint you should show. No? Yeah. No, and he accepts that. He does accept And this is, this is the, the first part of moving on with anything that you do. You have to accept when you're wrong. I won't give him excuses for that. I've told him that was wrong. If this girl was 27, the text messages still would have happened. It wasn't because she was 17. It was because, you know, she, you, the, the messages happened with us both in a moment. It was two consenting mm. adults. A conversation happened. It happened the once. And that's the end of it. Had she been 27, he wouldn't have been like, all right, see you later. I'm not interested. It wasn't an age thing at all.